The fruit of the Spirit, as described by Paul in his letter to the Galatians, is the expression of virtues and attitudes that arise in the hearts of those who walk according to the Spirit of God. This list of qualities includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The unity of these attributes reveals the inner transformation wrought by the divine presence within the human being. When we talk about the fruit of the Spirit, it is important to highlight that it is not plural, even though it contains various characteristics. This fact points out that all these virtues form a unity. It is not about choosing one over the others, but about allowing the Holy Spirit to produce in us a totality that reflects the character of Christ. Each of these elements is vital for the Christian walk, developing them integrally. The first attribute mentioned is love, the essence of God himself, as 1 John 4, 8 says. Divine love is not merely a feeling, but an action that seeks the good of others, regardless of merit or circumstance. It is sacrificial, selfless, and reflects how Christ loved humanity. This love transforms relationships, unites communities, and brings peace where there is division, as it is the foundation of all other aspects of the fruit of the Spirit. Joy, in turn, is not merely a fleeting emotion dependent on external conditions. It is born from a deep relationship with God and the certainty that He is in control. Even amidst difficulties, this joy remains as it is anchored in the hope of salvation and trust in his promises. Therefore, the Christian can experience this supernatural joy that transcends the sadness and discouragement common in the world. Peace, another essential component of the fruit of the Spirit, goes beyond the absence of conflict. It is an inner peace that comes from reconciliation with God through Christ. This state of spiritual tranquility guards the heart against anxiety and fear. For those who possess it know they are in the hands of a sovereign God. This peace also extends to human relationships, promoting harmony and unity among God's children. Patience is a virtue that demonstrates the ability to endure trials and difficulties without despair or complaint. It reflects God's long suffering, the same patience that he shows us in our mistakes and failures. Being patient is trusting in God's timing, knowing that He has a perfect plan. Patience teaches us to wait and act with wisdom, without rashness, and it also helps us deal with others in a more loving and compassionate way. Kindness, on the other hand, is a disposition of gentleness and goodness toward others. This virtue prompts us to treat people with compassion and empathy, recognizing their needs and seeking to meet them. Kindness is a reflection of God's goodness in our lives, showing that the Christian not only receives divine love, but also transmits it to those around them, creating an atmosphere of care and affection. Goodness is a characteristic that goes beyond intention. It is action. It is the desire to do good in all aspects of life. Goodness manifests itself in concrete actions, whether through encouraging words or generous gestures. The Christian who lives in goodness is always looking for opportunities to bless others. Goodness, driven by the Spirit, expects neither return nor recognition as it is done in obedience to God. Faithfulness, in the Christian context, refers to loyalty and consistency in our commitment to God and others. Being faithful means being trustworthy, being someone others can rely on. This virtue reflects God's character who is always faithful to his promises. The faithful Christian honors their commitments, keeps their word, and seeks to live according to divine principles, regardless of circumstances. Gentleness is the virtue that opposes pride and aggression. It should not be confused with weakness, as gentleness is strength under control. Christ described himself as gentle and humble in heart, and he is the model of this quality. A gentle person responds calmly to provocation, does not act with anger or resentment. This virtue allows interpersonal relationships to be marked by kindness and mutual respect. Self-control 
the final component of the fruit of the Spirit listed by Paul, is the ability to govern one's own desires and impulses. This virtue is crucial in the Christian life as it helps us resist temptations and avoid impulsive actions or words. Self-control leads us to a disciplined life where passions and desires do not rule our behavior. It enables us to live in an orderly manner, aligned with God's will. When we consider these virtues as a whole, we realize that the fruit of the Spirit cannot be produced by human effort alone. It is a supernatural work of the Holy Spirit within us, shaping our character and enabling us to live in a way that pleases God. Without God's transformative action in our lives, it would be impossible to genuinely and consistently manifest these qualities. Another important point about the fruit of the Spirit is that it develops over time as the Christian walks with God. Spiritual growth is not instantaneous. It occurs as we surrender to God's will and allow the Holy Spirit to shape us. Just as a fruit-bearing tree takes time to produce fruit, the fruit of the Spirit is the result of a gradual transformation process. The Bible often uses the metaphor of a tree to describe the Christian life. Just as a healthy tree is one that is rooted in fertile, well-nourished soil, the Christian must be rooted in Christ and nourished by the Word of God. Only then can the fruit of the Spirit be fully manifested. Jesus said that those who remain in Him, like branches connected to the vine, will bear much fruit. When the fruit of the Spirit is present in a Christian's life, it also has a profound impact on the community around them. The presence of these virtues transforms relationships, promotes unity, and brings peace. In a world often marked by discord, selfishness, and violence, the fruit of the Spirit offers a radical alternative, a life that reflects God's character and draws others to Him.